Hi, so I recently bought a new laptop and the fan noise was very loud and unbearable. And my solution to that was to restrict the power that goes into the CPU such that the temperature of the CPU never gets to high enough to the point where the fan turns on and definitely not high enough to the point where the fan accelerates and sounds like a wind tunnel. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go into the Cortana search screen here and I am going to type in power settings. And when this screen opens up, I'm going to click on additional power settings in the bottom. And you'll notice here, I have multiple power plans. You can also create your own. I am going to pick a, an existing power plan called Power Saver here. And I'm going to click on Change power Plan Settings. And after that, I'm going to click on Change Advanced Power Settings. And I'm going to scroll all the way down here and there will be an option called processor power management I'm going to expand that and what you want is the maximum processor state so I'm going to expand maximum processor state and you'll notice here I already have my on battery and plugged in setting to be 48 percent of maximum capacity what that means is that my CPU will never use or the processor will never use anything more than 48 percent of its capacity so what that does is that limits the heat that goes into the CPU or the power that goes into the CPU which results in a lower heat on the CPU itself so the fan will never turn on um, so you might be concerned you know why would I want to do that why would I limit my CPU to 48 percent of its capacity um, well as it turns out that even though even at 48% capacity here, I could play multiple uh, Ultra HD or 4K videos. And the reason why I'm choosing 4K video is that's very processor intensive. And let me demo that for you. So at 48% capacity with my Intel Core i5-7200U CPU here, um, I could so, so I could play two videos here. And let me demonstrate that. So you notice there that um, so you notice there that I was able to play the video, the 4K video simultaneously, and um, so I do want to mention that to on the video it might look jittery, but that is only because I am recording the screen and recording, making a recording of the video. So it's going to look jittery because of that. But in real actual life here, it's very smooth. Both of those videos played simultaneous with no stutter or no uh, performance issues. Um, but I, I do want to go back and mention here that I set mines at 48%. So for you, uh, you might want to do trial and error there. And, you know, I, I've set it as high as 76% or 73% and the fan never turned on. Um, and so what that does is that not only limits the heat but it also limits the power that's being used so you notice my cpu here the it never got above 40 percent uh 40 degrees celsius and the maximum temperature here for my cpu is 100 degrees celsius so it only reached basically 40 percent of that temperature so the fan never turned on but also the power here the wattage for my CPU is maximum of 15 watts, whereas uh, when I limit the power, it never reaches 3 watts. So it actually conserves a lot of battery and makes my battery last a lot longer. Now, the other thing I want to mention here is um, I chose something that was already existing, and the so some of these other settings is not exactly what I want it to be. So originally, this was... Uh, power saving and I maximize the power of the adapter to be maximum and that is because uh, my purpose was merely to limit the 
power of the CPU, not the power of the other stuff, because the other stuff doesn't affect the, the CPU turning on or off. Um, and if you get lost when you're setting these, just uh, click Restore Plan Defaults. The other thing I want to also mention here is that um, in the cases where, you know, in, in case you're playing a very intensive 3D game or you're doing uh, Photoshop and you want your computer at full power, then, then you simply, you know, switch between power plans where, you know, this other power plan would have 100% a CPU capacity, whereas the other one, when, when you want your fan silent, has the 48% or 52% or whatever you're going to do for trial and error. Um, one more thing I do want to mention is when you're setting this at 48% or whatever your personal preference is that actually lowers the fan because it's going to be different for each computer, um, is that it doesn't happen right away. Keep in mind that the CPU has to cool to the point where the fan shuts off first and then these things will take effect. So it might not take effect immediately, but eventually it will. And the way to test that is, you know, either reboot or shut down your computer after you've changed these such that the CPU is able to cool down and the fan is shut off. And then you could really um, turn it back on after that. Uh, but that's really all I wanted to mention. Um, and uh, I hope this helped. And uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.